iOS 17 has been released on its dev beta for about a month now and now it's time for the iOS 17 public beta to come out. So in this video I will show you guys everything that you need to know regarding the iOS 17 public beta. Now iOS 17 is actually a really interesting update. It has a lot of new features, more than 250 new features, but it lacks some like big new features that would make actually a big change. But even though some of them are actually great, like the interactive widgets on the home screen, I think we will see the benefit of that once this update gets out to the public and devs start releasing apps with interactive widgets that will be a game changer and you will see how good ios 17 will be but for now we're stuck on the betas we have the dev beta and the public beta which will come out really really soon so in this video i will show you guys everything you need to know and which devices you can install it how to install it how to download it on your device and of course whether you should install it or not so when it comes to devices, it will of course be the same as the dev beta. So if you want to install iOS 17 public beta on your device, you will actually need to have a newer device. So the iPhone 11 and up, the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 and the 8 plus actually won't be supported by iOS 17 at all. We probably know about that from the dev beta. Once Apple has actually released this update, we knew that they wouldn't be supported. There was rumors actually that those devices will be dropped and they have been confirmed once Apple has released the first dev beta of iOS 17. So unfortunately, if you have one of those devices, you won't be able to get this update. Now, of course, if you want to install the iOS 17 public beta on your device, and you're probably on iOS 16 if you want to do that, then you need to have enough space on your device. I would suggest you have at least 10 gigs of free space on your device if you want to install this update. So the update if you're on iOS 16 will probably come at around 5 gigs. So go ahead and check how much storage you have. So with this update of course being quite big you will need at least 10 free gigs of storage on your device in order to make sure that you can get the update right away on your iphone so before i show you guys how to enroll your device how to install ios 17 public beta on your device let me talk about what's the difference between this and the dev beta because this year actually has been really interesting now previously we all had to install a profile then we would get the update on our devices but now with iOS 17 actually since iOS 16.4 Apple has changed the way we update and now we can update actually simply by going to settings general and then software update and then just pick here which update we want to install of course from the beta updates right here as long as you have a dev account now first of all initially we thought this would be just for paid dev accounts which actually cost $100 per year but with the release of the beta of iOS 17 Apple actually made this free so all you have to do is just have your email here but of course sign up for a dev account a free dev account without having to pay anything so you still actually need to sign up for a dev account in order to get iOS 17 beta even though it is free but you will have to sign up and then you will get the beta right here so there is actually no difference currently we're on the third beta of ios 17 and the new beta that will come out the public beta which will come out probably this monday will of course be the same as beta 3 and then from now on once apple releases a new beta for the devs the next day or later that day they will release also the beta for the public which will actually be the exact same thing. So the only difference here is of course for the public beta, you had to wait like a month more. And then of course you had to enroll your AIM email somewhere else instead of creating a free dev account. So to enroll it, you will actually need to go to your Safari app and then right here you will have this web page, which of course I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Now right here you can see coming soon, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this will be released on Monday, but right here you can learn more about iOS 17 and this is the sign up button which will let you sign up your email even though currently it still will show you iOS 16 if you do it today. 
if you do it on Monday, it will show you iOS 17, of course, once it gets released on the first public beta. So currently, if you do this for iOS 16, you can sign up. So just sign up here and enter your passcode, the passcode of your device or Face ID. If you have it enabled, it will just open it using Face ID. So once you authenticate your email address here, Apple ID, this is what you will see. So for iOS 17, I'm not pretty sure what they will do, but probably you don't have to and do anything more here once you're logged in you're good to go but for iOS 16 we had to actually enroll the device from here and download a profile you won't need to download that profile for iOS 17 as soon as you tap here enroll the device your device will be enrolled and all you have to do now is make sure that you have that same email that you logged in there also entered here under the settings app so make sure that this is the same one if you're using your apple id you will most likely have your apple id here and now you're good to go you will actually get right here something like that will show iOS 17 public beta so let me show you guys that i have done a render of that it should show something very similar to this so all you will have to do is select the public beta right there to install it to your device and that's the way to go that's the easiest and of course the only way to actually get the public beta on your device so now that we know how to get iOS 17 public beta on our devices the question remains should we update or not to iOS 17 public beta? Well, let's take a look at the current state of iOS 17. So as far as performance go, I would say this is okay to install on pretty much every device. But if you have like a device that's maybe kind of slow, it has a bad battery health, I wouldn't suggest you do that. If you have an okay device, one of the newer devices, go ahead and install it once it gets out on the public beta. There's a reason why Apple will release a public beta. Of course, they're pretty confident that this update is good enough to actually be on the public's hand. That's why they release it. And in my experience, actually performance has been quite good. So here with beta three, this is the performance we got with Geekbench. And of course, we have to talk about battery as well, because if you're trying to install a beta on your device and you have only one device the daily driver then the battery will have a big impact but currently we're not doing that bad with ios 17 we'll still have to wait a few more days to see how this new beta will perform but we can see here for what we have been able to do with 60 percent maybe like 60 62 percent we got five hours and 54 minutes almost six minutes on the six hours on the screen which is actually not that bad So taking a look here you can see we're at 92 percent battery here so it's okay not the best battery life ever but it's okay but just to do like a conclusion I think you're okay to update to iOS 17 public beta, especially if you're not installing it on your main device and just go ahead and install it. If you're on iOS 16, I've seen people stay on iOS 16.6 beta. If you're already on a beta, just go ahead and update to iOS 17. You will get some cool new features, which are maybe not worth it installing iOS 17 currently, but they will actually be very, very soon. So yes, in my conclusion, it's safe to install iOS 17 public beta on your device. And last but not least, of course, the release date. Now. As I said during the video, I'm expecting Apple to release this update this Monday. So it will be July 10th. This is the day that I believe Apple will actually release this update. So they released right here. Yesterday, they released beta 3. And on Monday, they will release public beta. This is the th same thing that happened last year. On the 6th, which was actually Wednesday last year, they released beta 3. And then on the Monday, it was the 11th they released the public beta so that's the way they go it's actually kind of easy to, to guess things based on apple schedules but that's most likely 99 percent sure that will be the date when apple releases the public beta of ios 17. so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did of course don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one